Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Now at 6 a.m. on WKYT, a police officer jumps into action after seeing an overnight driver crash right into a creek. Police in southern Kentucky looking for an arsonist after a string of house fires in just a few days. And an update on a crash that shut down a busy Lexington road for an entire day. There's some good news on that for you this morning. Those stories and more and breaking news as it happens. It's coming up on WKYT This Morning. Hey, top of the morning and welcome in. It's good to have you with us Thursday, November 6th. As we go rolling toward the weekend, I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. May want to have some indoor plans this weekend, it's sounding like. It sounds pretty good. And uh, you have all kinds of things going on. And people are going to be dealing with uh, some cold, it sounds like. Let's check in with meteorologist Micah Harris. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Yeah, we'll start to see that front make its way through. We'll actually have in our seven day forecast about four fronts that's going to roll on through. So that's really going to make things uh, kind of a little bit on the uh, ugly side because these fronts roll through, it gives you a little rain. That rain still has not moved out from yesterday down toward the south and southeastern zones. Now, this area, once it pushes on out, will take a big long break. You can see the cooler air to the north that'll actually filter in. We're in the 50s this morning, but we'll start to feel that cooler air uh, as we work our way through the day and kind of drop those temperatures. And what we're going to see is a little bit more rain on the backside of this. So uh, there's going to be a lot going on, hit and miss showers. Not everybody will get in on the mix, but 50 degrees is turning cool. And we'll be there 30s overnight, maybe even some flurries tomorrow morning. I'll talk about who can see that, who has the best shot at it at least. Coming up in a few minutes. All right, Micah, full details in just a bit. Let's get to the news. Some scary moments overnight for a driver after he crashed his car right into a creek. Happened just after one this morning off Old Frankfort Pike in Woodford County near the Fayette County line. Police officers saw the crash and rushed in to help. WKYT's Whitney Wetzel is live at UK Hospital where the driver is being treated. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. That man was taken here to UK Hospital. However, police say he is expected to be okay. The man accidentally drove into a bridge or drove off of a bridge rather and into South Elkhorn Creek around one o'clock this morning. It happened on Old Frankfort Pike, not far from Versailles. Police say the driver rounded a curve too quickly and flipped his car over right into the creek. An officer was stationed on the other side of the bridge when this happened and actually witnessed the crash. That officer immediately called in other emergency responders to help. They were able to get the driver out to safety, but of course it took several hours to get his car out of the stream. Officials say they're not worried about any of the fluids getting into the water. At this point, they're not sure whether this accident was weather related. Live at UK Hospital, Whitney Wetzel, WKYT. All right, thanks, Whitney. A similar scene played out this morning in Lexington. Police say a man and woman were in a truck that crashed into a creek off Cambridge Drive. About 3.30 this morning, both managed to get out safely. Police say the woman first tried to say she was carjacked, but later admitted that her boyfriend was drunk when he started to drive her truck. That man is still on the run. New this morning, a fourth person has been indicted in a Lexington murder case. The Herald Leader reports that Damian Sanders, a juvenile, is now charged with second degree manslaughter in the death of Antonio Franklin. Franklin was shot to death at Duncan Park back in April. Three other juveniles have also been indicted in the case. Brian Brown, Nasheem Dixon and William Dixon will all be tried as adults. Police say Franklin was an innocent bystander who was caught in the crossfire of a gun battle between two groups. A former basketball standout in Kentucky is accused of stealing from a Verizon store. WAFF in Huntsville, Alabama says Dominique Tilford was arrested yesterday after a short police chase. Police say he and three other suspects are charged with burglary and theft. Tilford was named Mr. Basketball in Kentucky in 2005. He went on to play one year at the University of Cincinnati before transferring to the University of South Alabama. Also new this morning, a man wanted in several Kentucky counties is now in jail. Police in Laurel County say they arrested Randolph Boswell yesterday as he tried to escape. WKOT's Mark Barber is at the live desk to explain why Boswell was wanted by police. Good morning, Rebecca and Bill. The 34-year-old fugitive is now facing charges in six counties after investigators say they tracked him down and arrested him in London yesterday afternoon. In Rowan County, deputies tell us Randolph Boswell was involved in organized crime. Investigators say Boswell and several other people posed as contractors installing lighting protection. We're told he was able to scam an 85-year-old man out of $1,000. 
In Pulaski County, deputies tell us he stole $1,800 from someone by posing as a telephone serviceman repairman. Boswell is also facing several charges, including theft by deception in Harlan County and McCreary County. He was also wanted in Carter County after investigators tell us he didn't show up in court to answer for numerous traffic violations. Deputies say when they found Boswell in London yesterday, he tried to escape, so he is also charged with fleeing or evading police in Laurel County. From the Live Desk, Mark Barber, WKYT. Investigators in Lincoln County are searching for an arson suspect. State police say they have been, uh, there have been four house fires in two days in the McKinney community. They say all of those fires were set on purpose. One state trooper says the fires are random, but the suspect was methodical. No one was home at the time that these fires took place. Uh, everybody was gone. Two of the houses uh, are currently being lived in. Uh, one of them was abandoned, and the other one is, is, was in the process of being cleaned up so it could be rented out again. The Arson Task Force is offering a $1,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction in these cases. The time is six minutes after six on WKYT This Morning. President Obama and Republican Senate Leader Mitch McConnell of Kentucky are promising to try to get things done despite their differences. Uh, I would enjoy having some uh, Kentucky bourbon uh, with Mitch McConnell. Uh, I don't know what his preferred drink is. Well, that's his offer. That comment made Kentucky bourbon a trending topic online. The president of the Kentucky Distillers Association is suggesting that the president and Senator McConnell hold a bourbon summit right here in Kentucky. And this year we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the congressional resolution that declared bourbon America's only native spirit. So we kind of considered our patriotic duty uh, to step up and serve our country literally and, and make this summit happen. But bourbon may not be strong enough. The president and Republicans are already clashing on immigration reform. McConnell said it would be a mistake for the president to take unilateral action on immigration. Well, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, it took all day, but overnight, crews finally cleared that scene of a crash that took out power in part of Lexington. Yesterday morning, police say a semi hit a utility pole on North Broadway at West 6th Street. North Broadway was closed until about 11 last night while crews made repairs. Kentucky Utilities says power is now restored to everyone in the area. And let's check live drive traffic for you this morning and see what is going on this, uh, right now as we're at 607. Here's our live drive look right now out at I-75 and I-64 at the northern split. And the interstate's moving along fine. We have no reports of any early problems this morning. Yeah, it looks good. It does. Hey, WKYT this morning just getting started. So good to have you along with us as we get this day rolling. It's by Thursday. A Florida couple get some help from the 1980s to announce... They're pregnant. And we're looking outside, sitting there in a couple of 40s to the northern zones, but the rest of us there, well in the 50s. As we go throughout the day, this cool air that you see on the screen, which, you know, kind of uh, shows up in that blue color, slowly but surely glides in here. We get pretty chilly. I'll show you how low we go with our temperatures. Coming up next.